Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tara. Hope everybody's well. Alright, we're throwing them down for the weekly top and bottom of the deck. So, yeah. I've only been sitting here at my table for the last, like, at least two and a half hours trying to do this, if not longer. Um, so, just keep getting interrupted. So, we're just going to do it. Quick, efficient, as few cards as possible, short, sweet, to the point, if I can manage it. For those of you who are new here, I go by the elements. It is Virgo season, so we're going to start out with Earth. Go around the wheel accordingly. Three off the top, three off the bottom, a couple of clarifiers. Bottom of each deck is your advice. Again, short, sweet, and to the point. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days, please, universe. Seven of Cups reversed, King of Swords reversed. There's Confusion. Oh, the King of Sword, kind of a jerk. I mean, he's kind of a jerk in the upright. He was even more of a jerk in the reverse. I'm feeling like things may have come out of people's mouths that kind of came out wrong. I'm feeling like intense communication, like emotional word vomit is what I'm feeling off of that. And it led to confusion. Or someone was doing emotional word vomit due to confusion. Expressing disdain for confusion. So that's like sometime Monday, Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday. That'll be playing out. Okay, so Wednesday, Thursday, maybe into Friday. Someone all up in their head. Stuck at the intersection of where do I go and what do I do? Two of Wands reversed, Eight of Swords. What's next? Emperor reversed, Fool reversed, not trusting one's own judgment. Things probably a little bit out of control or they may, may feel like they're out of control. All right, clarify. I'm not clarifying that, that was clear as a bell. I'm not clarifying that, that was clear as a bell. What the hell is going on down here? Why is the Emperor reversed here? Lovers. Oh, shit. Okay. Somehow I knew. Things might be a little bit out of control. Due to a choice that needs to be made. Seven of Wands, there's an internal battle. Or there's going to be. Someone is not so large and in charge at the end of the week. Possibly not jumping into anything. Why the fool reversed? Eight of Cups, High Priestess. She can speak of secrets, but she mostly speaks of intuition. I didn't ask a question. I got a bunch of cards. I'm going to put them back. Why the Eight of Cups? Hanged man walking away because you're still hung up. You don't know what else to do. You're being led and guided to walk away until you can get out of this hangman's position. 
walk away to gain the new perspective because it's a perspective you don't have. You don't trust yourself at the end of the week. Or at least you're following your intuition. All right. Queen of Wands. That's awesome. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. That's how you get your mojo back. Know your worth. Know your worth. A lot of fire right here. Aries. Aries. Fire. Fire. You mean Aries or Leo you're dealing with? I also have Pisces. I got Gemini. I got a little water. Two of Wands, Aries. Hmm. Okay. Queen of Swords reversed, King of Cups. You know, you can be kind and not be too kind. That is possible. King of Cups. He's got one hell of a poker face, let me tell you. He's full of emotion. He does not show it. He does not wear his heart out on his sleeve. And the Queen of Swords reversed. She has a tendency to get a little bit persnippity. So you need to find that healthy balance in this situation. Come the time. That's what I'm saying. Don't let your mouth get you into any more trouble than it already has. And cross-watch, your same goes to you if you just happen to be cross-watching for the earth signs snooping in. Even though this really isn't a cross-watcher's read, but, you know, all things being fair and vice versa. Place yourself where you see fit. If it's not resonating on your side, try looking through the eyes of the person that you're dealing with. All right. Cleaning it up. I don't know how that how well that resonated. It's going to be real sketch toward the end of the week. Uh, air signs. Whew. See what happens when I got to clarify? I clarify too much. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Five of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. Hmm. That's eight Pentacles. I feel like a bright new idea. Or coming together, combining of resources could bail somebody out of poverty. Like an impoverished situation, like money is getting tight. I don't know, maybe you got a couple of friends moving in, helping with the bills. I don't know, that's what I'm feeling. Air, air signs is totally how I'm feeling off of that. King of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups reverse. I'm hearing might not have been such a great idea. I feel like there's somebody in this mix that doesn't always get along with other people. Maybe they're a tad bit emotional. Maybe they say things before they think about what's coming out of their mouth. And I'm not seeing such a happy home here. Ten of Cups reversed. 
Like, this was a great idea when it started, but I'm not so sure now, now that everybody's bringing in their shit. Okay. Happens toward the end of the week. Five of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I get conflict. I don't understand why the Queen of Pentacles is here, so we're going to clarify her. She's probably the only one we're going to clarify. Pardon me. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Six of Swords reversed. I'm being told somebody's moving back in with Mom. That's just what I'm being told. The Queen of Pentacles, she's like the minor kind of mom. She's the rock. She's she's stability. <laughs> like if stability was a person, it would be her. So I'm hearing somebody is returning to go back with mom. Short, sweet, to the point. Maybe it resonated, maybe it didn't. Sorry it's so short, but if I don't need to clarify it, I'm not going to. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Don't let petty bullshit arguments, which is really what a Five of Swords is. It's an avoidable argument, probably over something petty and ridiculous, cost you your independence, air signs. Okay, so you might want to rethink it if you're thinking about moving back in with mom. All right, that was easy. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hold that thought. I did a pre-shuffle earlier when I was invoking the cards. He popped out. He popped out. He popped out. Well, three out of four. <sighs> Definitely some anxiety, possibly about a decision that you're trying not to get emotional about. Possibly as to whether you want to extend an apology towards someone or not. Maybe there's a little bit of an anxiety about whether or not it's going to be ignored. Just throwing that out there. You know, because they did come out. This would be at least the second time they've come out. <laughs> so, yeah. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Next seven days from a water signs, please. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Beginning of the week, the world and the wheel of fortune. That is a definite, um, something is closing for something new to begin. Holy damn closing something out at the beginning of the week and I mean more than a rough weekend I mean are you closing out a rough weekend and then starting a new week I mean that's that stupid general right there but I guess if it resonates run with it four of swords nine of pentacles middle of the week getting over a heartbreak 
declaring your independence, deciding you just want to be single for a while, allowing yourself to heal, closing something, closing an old chapter, beginning a new one, deciding you want to heal, deciding you're going to be single. What's happening Friday, Saturday, into Sunday? Four of Wands, Page of Cups. I ain't clarifying shit. I am leaving this alone. Some of y'all might be getting your 11-11 this coming weekend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe, you know, if that's your thing. If you believe in the twin flame journey, the soulmate union, so, you know. I'm definitely seeing something coming in for you. A new offer. A new nice shiny cup. I am leaving it alone. I'm not clarifying anything. Four of Pentacles reversed is your advice. Close out. Let go. Mm. Allow the new cycle to begin. Allow things to play out the way they're supposed to play out. Allow yourself to heal. When we let things go, new things come in. There you go. Enough said. Fire! Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Next seven days, please. Next seven days. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. That's ten upside down Pentacles. If you do the math, that ain't bliss. Somebody got impatient with something not, with foundations not being laid fast enough, possibly, or this is what's going to happen first part of the week. Something's not fruiting at the rate at which you want it to be fruiting. High Priestess reversed. The world reversed. I feel like somebody's ego was going to get in the way of something closing out that needs to close out. That's how I feel about that right now. Someone is allowing their ego to delay an ending. We'll clarify in a second. I didn't want to, but we're going to. Two of Wands reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. I'm just looking. The Queen of Pentacles and the Upright came out in your pre-shuffle. Hmm. All right. I feel like toward next weekend, somebody's going to be standing at an indecision intersection on the corner of where do I go and what do I do because they don't know how to move forward without making themselves look bad not throwing shade this is just what I see codependent energy I don't like it eight of swords at the bottom of the deck you need to come out of that you need to come out of that right now do not lull over the things you cannot control and do not put yourself in a cage that you can walk out of any time you want. You put yourself in this cage. You understand that, right? You don't need to be there. You put yourself there. Get yourself in a better energy. Get yourself in a higher vibration. Don't need to clarify that. Yeah, I do. One in the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Thank you. 
Seven of Swords. Why is this not fruiting like it was supposed to? Because someone wasn't speaking the truth. Somebody may have sold you some snake oil. Seven of Swords is also a return card for me. Sometimes people just come back for their crap and they bail again. Seven of Wands, internal struggle. Causing of an internal struggle. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? Tower reversed. Somebody coming back trying to rebuild a tower. That is an unsteady foundation to be rebuilding a tower. It's either that or somebody's fighting the falling of a tower, one of the two. I think toward the middle of the week, you're still fighting it. High Priestess reversed. World reversed. Six of Cups. You've been kicking it a minute. You're soulmates. You've probably known each other a long time. There's love there. And I mean like deep love. Deep. Like love through the ages fucking love. Probably lifetime after lifetime. Sometimes when you love somebody that much, we don't want to listen to our intuition when our intuition is screaming at us that something needs to end or change. This could be egos getting involved. This could be someone just straight up not listening to their intuition. Three of Wands reversed. They don't want to wait for another ship to come in. They're happy on the ship that they're on. They're walking away from the dock. They're sailing away from the dock on the ship that they're in, even though it's going to fucking sink. They don't want to wait out the healing process. They just want to stay right where they are. Empress reversed, page of pentacles, apology after apology, things do not grow. The world. Something needs to end. One on the world. Ace of Wands. For you cannot strike that new match if you do not end the cycle that you are in. And if you try to strike the new match before you end the cycle that you are for you... God, how do I want to put this? My throat shocker is just fucking tired right now. Okay. <laughs> if you do not end the cycle that you are in, you cannot start a new one. It will not work. That match will go out as quickly as you lit it. Someone has to let something go. And that is going to start processing. I'm thinking like Wednesday. I'm thinking like Wednesday, Thursday, maybe into Friday give or take. I'm not good. You know, time, time is linear and fluid, guys. Okay? Time is fluid. Correction, it is not linear. It is fluid. You know. It's a man-made construct anyway. It's not even real. Why is the two of wands reversed here? Oh my gosh. Queen of Pentacles. Upright. Queen of Pentacles reversed. See this person as the catch. You're going to... You don't want to walk away from them. You're indecisive. Because they're the apple of your eye. Or you're the apple of their eye. But whoever's on the other side of this coin... His energies aren't matching. It's never going to work. She's independent. She's strong. She can do this on her own. Not so much. There's codependent energy here.
I need one on this Queen of Pentacles. I think you're dealing with someone who is extremely codependent. Two of Pentacles. Still... Hmm. The Dance of Change. Processing it. One more. Star reversed. Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess. Hmm. Two of Cups. <laughs> Embrace the change. But you can't fight that healing process. This is allowing yourself to be all up in your head and then not allowing that healing process to begin. Yeah, there may have been a time when you were divinely led and guided to be together, but that time may well be over. And it may be time to accept change. And don't fight the process. Sometimes we get in our own way, don't we? Four of Wands. This is a powerful connection. Someone tells me this is going to take more than a week. Somebody's still fighting it at the end of the week. <sighs> Alright, fire signs. Everybody, love you guys. I mean, I tried. You know, sometimes the messages are clear, sometimes they're sketch. Let me know what happens. Let me know if it resonated. Let me know if it didn't. Okay. I need to go, like, eat dinner and stuff, though, because it's, like, after 8 o'clock at night, and everybody else has eaten, and I have not, because I've been sitting at this table trying to make this work for, like, a very long time. So, maybe a little food will help me get out some sign readings. Love ya. Take care. Know that you're loved and be blessed, and I will catch you next week.